Hello guys, it is James from hostthegamer.com and today I'm going to be explaining what the server.properties file is. First of all, we'll start with generator settings. If you're running a bucket plugin or you have mods for your Minecraft vanilla server, say you want it to be Skyblock, you have a Skyblock mod, if there is one, then you would type the generator settings to what it specifies to generate like. That may sound a bit confusing, but say you have a skyblock mod and it says the generator settings need to be skyblock to create a skyblock island, then you change it to the skyblock. Op permissions. Uh, op permission level is what the ops can do. So, for example, op permission 4 is every command. 3 is like ban, whitelist, you know, not stop and certain uh, other stuff. 2 is only sort of kick and 1 is just sort of commands. That a, that a low level op should be able to do. Allow nether. This is pretty self explanatory. Allow nether is if you want the nether portal to allow you to take you to the nether. Uh, true, that means it works. Level name. Now, level name is default world. Depends what yours is in your server folder, which I'm just going to open up now for you. Hold on. Uh -huh. So you see, my default uh, level name is world. And then the level name there as well. Them two have to match. If they don't match, they won't work. Uh, enable query. Enable query allows servers, uh, sorry, server lists like minecraftform.net or Minecraft server list to be able to contact your server, um, check who's uh, who players are online. You know how many players are online. Uh, Plugin list and you know, basic stuff like that, like your MOTD, which we'll get to later. Uh, the good thing is though you can enable it and it will use the same port as your um, default minecraft server port so 25565 which we'll also explain a bit later allow flight means if a person is survival mode and they have some game hacks that allow them to fly uh, if this was true then they could fly around and wouldn't be kicked if it was false then they could get kicked for flying uh, the next one is pretty self-explanatory. If a player gets an achievement, should it announce it in chat? So, easiest is taking inventory. Server port is the port that you'll connect to. So, 25565 is the default one. Um, yeah, so that's quite simple. Level type. Default is a normal world. Flat is a super flat world. Amplified is an amplified world. And large biomes is a large biome world. Enable Recon basically is uh, allows Mojang to sort of snoop on your server and see any errors it's got, anything that happens to do checks to it. So that's um you can enable that if you want to. Level seed is the seed of the world, it, what you want the seed to be if you haven't created your world yet. So if you wanted to have a seed, you'd put EG123, blah, 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 and then delete your world and start it up again. But beware, when you delete your world, you cannot get it back. Force Game Mode. Basically means if a player is in survival mode, then gets in creative mode somehow, should the server force it back, force them back to their original game mode? Um, it's usually false on default. Server IP. Server IP should not really be messed with with clients um, or people that are only hosting a small server, but for it's big for big hosting companies that have set IPs for multiple servers, so it's really the big servers. The maximum build height is pretty self um, self explanatory. How high can you build until it gives you an error? Spawn NPCs. Should NPCs villagers spawn in villages? And that is true. Whitelist. If whitelist is enabled, only the players that you specify will be allowed on your server. So if you put your friend's username, they will be allowed on the server. Spawn animals. Should animals spawn in their sort of biomes like should ocelot spawn or should pigs or sheep spawn hardcore hardcore is basically like single player if you die you get banned from the server until the world is reset snooper snooper is a lot like Ar um, archon recon however you want to say it, i say it, recon um so yeah online mode uh, on if online mode should be set to true, because if it's not, then players could join as Notch, or they could join as your account, and then they could um, break your server, or like, um, grief it. Yeah. 
Should there be a default resource pack that the server gives? So if you put a URL here, when players join it will say there is a recommended resource pack, would you like to use it? PvP, should players be allowed to hit other players? Difficulty, 0 peaceful, 1 easy, 2 me um, normal and 3 hard. Enable command block, should a command block be enabled? What is the default game mode? Is it 0 is survival, 1 is creative and 2 is adventure? The player idle amount. This is in seconds, and the players will be kicked if they idle for more than how this many seconds. If it's set to zero, then um, they won't be kicked at all. Max players is pretty self-explanatory. Should monsters be able to spawn, or do you have to spawn them in? Should they? Well, they can spawn in in game, but you can't spawn them in yourself like three spawners. Should NPC villages, strongholds, and abandoned mine shafts be spawned with generated structures? The view distance is how far players can view before they have to reload new chunks. And the MOTD is if someone um, adds a server list to the um, oh, sorry about that. If someone adds a ser um, your server to the server list and they need to um, they need to see what the MOTD is, you could say um, amazing server join now free diamonds or something like that. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps you um, with your server. If you need any more help. Make sure you comment in the description below or email or definitely check out hostergame.com. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to us and tell your friends about us. Uh, like, favourite, share, you know, do all that lovely stuff. Give the like button a smash and, and um, yeah, check out hostergame.com and everything like that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later and goodbye.